Yo, team, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This is a bonus video, or at least it's a bonus fishing trip for me. I've actually just finished work. The job I had required me to wear a pair of waders. Sweet deal. So I've just kind of timed it with the end of the day so I can hit the river straight afterwards. So it's worked out really well. It's just gone four o'clock. Hopefully I'm about to catch fish out of here. Some of you guys, if you watch all of these videos, you'll, you'll recognize this pool, or you would have seen me fish it before. Um, but either here or up around this corner, I should be able to get a fish or two. Hopefully I can get a couple in quick succession, hit another spot, and uh, should be a good little session. I'll show you the rig I'm using, and we'll see what happens. It's uh, Loop Q, six weight, Opti Dry Flow Reel. And then the flies I'm using is this little miniature egg with a veil, tied this one myself. Some sort of, this is a category three fly, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a tied on a jig hook, got a big soft tackle thing going on and a little pink tail. It works, I've caught fish on it, a little bit of split shot. A uh, 12 ish foot leader, and there should be some fish right there. If, the, if it's going off and no one's fished this for a while and I get a good cast, there's potential to get one, get one first cast. All right, so it hasn't gone well. I've lost those two flies. I've gone to this other weird gold looking nymph thing. And this is that, the fly I've been using in the last few videos, which is a clear drift dead egg. Probably a better option for here now. Uh, and the fly, the lead fly, is uh, just some sort of generic heavy fly. I am going to put some split shot on here as well. Came in here with way too much confidence. I had three bad casts and then lost all my flies in a tree where I had said, oh, I should, uh, might be able to catch one first cast, which is never a, come on, let's be honest, that's never a good strategy just to fire into it like you. Yeah. Oh, I'm throwing those into a tree as well. They have come out okay. Throwing them into a tree. Throwing them into a tree. Wow, okay, this is, hold on. Simmer down now, Gareth. Let's run those. I've actually got these. One, I've actually got these ones in the water, so we'll fish them. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah. So that's all you have. Wow. That's all you have to do is uh, get the flies in the water, and they eat them. Oh. Oh yeah. Come up around the corner, buddy. We don't want you. We do not want you going around down there. Please don't. Wow, I don't know what I have in then. I definitely shouldn't have got away with it, I know that much. Yeah, nice fish. That's a great fish. That is a great fish. So I took about four or five casts. <laughs> but yeah, very fresh hen. So dark in here. So hard to film in these places. Very fresh hen jumped so high real good condition real fat super cool all right let's see you later so i actually took three or four casts i actually put three or four into the bushes before i got that one in the water and that fish straight away so that new rig that i'm, I'm convinced that dead egg from clear drift is absolute money in these things i've tried a few different colors but that dead egg dead egg pink dot seems to just go off i need to buy more dead egg still intact Should be fish in there. There's definitely some fish in there. Fish. There it is. Come here. Oh, this guy's going mental. He's under a tree. He's in the DD. The dead, dead, the dead, the dead, now he's going back upstream. What's he doing? So this fish doesn't look as fresh, but it's certainly a bigger fish, or a big fish, not a small fish. Fish? Fish. Fish. What does it sound like I say to you guys? Most of you guys from Australia or the US? Does it sound like fush? F-U-S-H? Or F-I-S-H? Fish. Fush. Everyone's, this is a good fish. Fush. This is not a bad fish.
Oh yeah. Dude. Oh, I keep saying it every video, but the fish in these systems this year is so much better. So much. They lose condition, uh, you know, color, brightness, uh, just because of the bottom, but this, this girl is still, she's either full of eggs or full of kura, I'm not sure. It feels a bit bumpy. Is that his focus? Yeah, all right. See you later, girlfriend. So that's the guy there that's doing all the damage as of late, catching so many fish on it. They work without a veil, but I find they last a bit longer tied with a the veil. They just, you can glue them on better, more robust. All right, let's fish. All right, so we're back in, fresh, fresh dead egg. I've only got like two of these things left. So I hope they last me now, today. So a nice little short cast, nice little mend, follow that indicator down, wait for it to do something snazzy, and then smack it. Yeah, fish it. Yeah. This guy feels solid too. What's this guy doing? This is the smallest fish. <laughs> why, why does it do that? This guy just felt like so heavy. This guy is just like, he won't let me lift his head. Come on. I'm putting like maximum I want to put a six pound fluoro on. Maximum pressure. Dead egg for the win again. Oh yeah. How is this fish, what? How is this fish so strong? The littlest guy by far. One of the best fights. This has actually got him right in the schnoz. So we'll just have right in the schnoz. Mr. Jack, super strong. Crazy fight. Alright, see you buddy. Oh, you bugger. Alright. So three fish to the net. Two fish lost. Up to five. It can't have been more than half an hour. Fish to car. Where's this guy going? Holy crap. Jesus, what is this guy on? This guy's on crack, for sure. Oh no, oh. Oh, did you guys see that? Of course you did, I just showed you it. That is a rookie mistake there. That was super tight and static. Oh, this guy's quite, quite too large. There's no slouch, that's for sure. I think it's a jack. Holy crap! Yeah, he's like a barn door. He's got to be wrapped up in that. Gonna have to get lucky to land this guy. Oh, he just popped. So I think he's just popped back to mouth now. Felt something give. Yep, popped back to jaw. Now I can control him. And he's still a good fish though. Great fish, good jack. Oh, sick. Dude, that's a stud. A chunk. This guy's going on the camera. But anyway, yeah. Sweet fish, big black jack. This guy, definitely one of the better fish I have caught for a while. He looks blacker in the camera than he actually is. Like I say, they lose color so quickly in this river. Probably nudging. Oiki. At least four and a half pounds. Each time in between fish, I'm having to take this GoPro out, hold the lens against my chest, my bare skin, nurse it until the fog goes away. 
then start fishing, hopefully catching the fish before the fog returns, which so far has worked. Uh, but le leave a comment below if you know anything that I can spray on the inside of this lens to stop it fogging. All right, fishing. That's what we're here for. Fish. Oh, that was a fish. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. There's another fish up there. Let's try to catch that guy that I just saw. This should get him, actually. He's right there. Oh, fish. Uh-huh. Oh, shit, that's a fish. I thought I was on the bottom. That guy was wrapped up. That was a fresh fish, too. Big, fresh hen. I can't, I, that was my own fault. I really messed that up. He lost my dead egg. What a loser. All right, fly change. This dead egg is nearly trash. Fog starting to return. Cast. Fish. My God, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Another big jack. Still can't get this guy's head up. Ah, sick. This is crazy. This guy's nowhere near as big. And on the on the dead egg again. Much darker jack, but super good fight. Look at the teeth on this guy. Rawr. All right, see you, buddy. Back up. Ready to go. I'm puffed after chasing so many fish down there. Here we go. Fish. One cast. Jesus. This is crazy. There must be a, so many fish down in there. So many. Another jack, another dark jack. So maybe we've caught all the good fish. Just relax. It's still unhooked. Slightly nicer than the last fish, but not perfect. See you, buddy. All right. I just saw a fish porks up here. So we're just gonna have a go. Yep, there he is. Whoa, is it? Oh, this guy might get me in that bush. He's right up under there. Now he's back out. Ah. Big black fish. I can't be bothered landing this guy. That's the worst thing about this spot, is once you hook a fish, it's really hard to land them. You have to walk all the way back down. That's how much pressure I'm putting on them. Oh, Jesus. I'm putting so much pressure on this guy. Surprised the rod's not snapped. Oh, I just about had him. There we go. Another jack. They're all darker jacks. So I think I'm going to leave these dark jacks alone, go see if I can find another few of those fresher fish. So. That egg is trash. I lost count. I think I got like six, maybe seven out of there. Uh, I'm going to pack everything up. I'll probably have one cast on my way back past. There's one other place I wanted to check out. It's probably not going to be as good as this, but it still could be firing. So we'll go with the last of it. With the last of our light, we'll go check that out. We 
are here and there's nobody around which is good i don't actually think i've fished this myself i've only guided it but we've done really really well so usually when i do well in the spot guiding i can't catch fish in it myself all these gel plasticky eggs like this they're great flies but they're, they're quite buoyant be good if they could infuse the the goo they make the egg out of with like uh sprinkle some tungsten powder in there or something man did i just invent something put some tungsten powder in the goo that you use to make these for fly fishermen we don't have sinkers y'all listen to me clear drift tungsten powder in the goo I'll just put a split shot on, that works too. No stress. I think I put too big of a bit on. We'll soon find out if this goes straight to the bottom. Yep. Fish. Wow. I kind of wasn't even. I kind of wasn't even expecting there to be a fish there in that location. But there was. Bright fish is a nice one. Nicer than the last few I caught up at the first spot. They were all getting a bit a bit dark. This is a nice fish. Come here. Oh wow. Dude, no wonder that was difficult to land. This is potentially right up there. Look at the shape of this fish. <laughs> so fat. Like the guts on it are just crazy fat. Whoa, whoa. Very cool fish, very fresh, beautiful. Full of eggs ready to go. See you, girlfriend. So I'm at the second spot, a couple of casts with no split shot, put some split shot on to get the flies down to the right zone, fish on. Beautiful fish too, like that's definitely five pound. So a couple more casts up there, see what else we can entice out of that pool. All right, so I'm back up there, still on the dead egg. Every fish today has come on that dead egg. Dead egg, D-E-A-D, dead egg, pink dot. That's the one. Fish. Jesus. Holy. Good fish. This guy's behaving a lot nicer. Wow, I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Gee. <laughs> These fish in here are so good. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Another stud. Holy stud cakes. Whoop. Oh, I dropped that one. Yeah, it was a nice hen. I'm going to call that like nine fish, I reckon. I think I've missed a couple on the camera. Or a couple won't make the video at least. Um, but yeah, good little... Oh, another one. Jeez. This river is on fire. This guy is behaving. I wish I had my net. I could just about need him there. Just doing the thrashy so much, but I left it down here. Oh, another stud. Another absolute stud. Just landed this nice hen as well. Beautiful fish, fresh, ready to go. See ya. All right, I tried to cheat the system. I actually didn't tie on a dead egg. I tied on a regular, just a regular old, I don't know what it's called. It's not a jelly, it's made out of a material. I used to use them all the time. I tied that on, nothing happened. So I've gone back to the dead egg. 
the Diddy, the McDitter rig. And still nothing happened, but that wasn't in the good spot. Gotta remember that. I'll tell you when we're in the good spot. We're in a pretty good spot there. Pretty good. Pretty good spot. Alright, two cars, dead egg, nothing. Maybe it turned off. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe the fly I tied on turned them off. This is an even better spot. Yep, fish. Woo! Woo! Strong. Super strong. So there it is. The old dead egg to the rescue. New favourite fly for sure. Super good fish. Well, this is one of the smaller fish of the day, but really nice. Young Jack, ready to do his thing. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Yo, so home. Uh, good little session. Landed a 10. I don't know, 10, 7, 8, 9 fish, I don't know, I'll count when I edit this video. We'll leave a link to the dead egg in the description below, go check it out, if you're from this area, or probably it doesn't matter where you're from, if you're fishing trout, that dead egg is, but, Nala, Nala, shush, Nala, hey, what's up? Chill. What have you been doing? Get a bark. Get a shower. Anyway, there's Nala. She was barking at me. Good guard dog. So the dead egg, if you're into trout fishing, if you're from this, it doesn't matter where you're from. They use them in the canals down the South Island. They obviously work up here really well. New favorite fly. Got to buy more. I will leave a link in the description. That's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Some people have been reaching out saying that the subscribe button they click it, but YouTube automatically unsubscribes them. And I have noticed little blocks of subscribers disappearing. So YouTube's obviously doing something funny there. Um, so just, if you are subscribed, make sure that you're subscribed while you're checking. Might as well ring that little bell and uh, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.